Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about the types of audit opinions. I typically get questions about the different types of audit opinions and what they mean. Um, I've received this question by email. I've received the question during workshops. And so I think this is a good topic that most people will get value from. I also have an article about this topic. So if you prefer to read, you can check the description box for the link to the article that summarizes what I'm going to talk about here today. All right, so let's get started with the types of audit opinions. So there are four types of audit opinions, and I do want to mention that this is not restricted to IT audits. So this is for audits in general. So when we talk about these audit opinions, I want you to think about this from audits in general, but it also applies to IT audits. So we have the unqualified opinion, qualified opinion, adverse opinion, and a disclaimer. So if you go back to the other videos where I talk about different IT audit phases, you would know that there is a report that's typically generated at the end of an audit. So let's talk about the different types of audit opinions. The first one is the unqualified opinion. The unqualified opinion means that the report is clean. And this doesn't mean that there were no issues. It just means that the issues that were identified did not or do not negatively impact the overall conclusion as to whether the audit objective was met. So the auditor is saying that after testing, even though we might have identified some issues, we can still conclude that the control objective or audit objective was met. So the word unqualified sometimes trips people up, right? My students sometimes ask me, why is it that it's called unqualified? Because unqualified doesn't sound like something that's good. And the way to think about it is the word unqualified means that there's no asterisk, right? That the auditor is not saying, but. They're just saying, this is a clean report. There might have been issues, but the control objective and or the audit objective were met, right? So it's unqualified. There's no ifs and buts about it. There's no asterisk to that opinion. It's just unqualified, and that's good. So that's one way to think about unqualified opinion and why that means the report is clean. And the clean, you can put it in quotes there, again, because it doesn't mean there are no issues. The next opinion is the qualified opinion. And the qualified opinion means that the report is not clean. And the auditor is saying that there are enough issues, you know, certain significant issues that were identified in the report that's preventing them from saying that the control objective or audit objective was met. So because this has, let's say, an asterisk to it, right? That's why it's qualified because the auditor can say, hey, take a look at this, it's good. They're saying there's a qualification to that opinion because there were significant issues that caused the control objectives or the audit objectives not to be met, okay? And you would typically see in reports that if there's a qualified opinion, it will be described in the opinion by the auditors. Another type of audit opinion is the adverse opinion, and this one is pretty much a negative opinion due to several significant and material issues that the auditor identified. So typically this means that the, whoever is looking at that report can't really rely on it because the control objectives have not been met. So if you want to think about this, the qualified opinion is saying there are significant issues where some control objectives um, were not met. Maybe other control objectives were met, but some may not have been met. So that's why it's qualified with the adverse opinion. It's pretty much that you're, it's just a negative opinion across the board. Now, the final type of audit opinion is the disclaimer. And here, the auditors are saying that they cannot provide an opinion on the audit due to insufficient information. So maybe when the auditors went out, they didn't get enough information to be able to test and come to a conclusion. So they're just going to issue a disclaimer saying, we didn't get enough information to even perform um, an adequate or sufficient audit. So we can't say whether this was a qualified report an unqualified report. And because they didn't test, it's impossible to say whether there were significant issues or material issues. It's just a disclaimer. So this kind of report that has this opinion is really not useful to 
anyone that's looking at it because it's not really giving any information. Okay, so let's summarize this. So to summarize, we have the unqualified opinion, which is the clean report, and that's good. Again, remember, this doesn't mean there were no issues. It just means that the issues identified did not cause the control objectives to fail. We have the qualified opinion, which means there were some significant issues noted. Um, the adverse opinion means this was a negative opinion, essentially, things were pretty bad. And with the disclaimer, this is no opinion. So I hope this has been able to help you understand the different types of audit opinions. As a reminder, if you're interested in an IT audit career, look in the description box. There's going to be a link to my IT audit career guide. This is totally free for you to download. When you put in your email, make sure you check your inbox and your spam or promotions folder for the link where you can download the actual guide. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.